Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kona. And in today's episode, hopefully we're going to be finishing this thing up. Um, I'm back at the, the lumber camps. One of you had mentioned in a comment on a previous video that uh, there's a hammer that I missed. And I think that's what I need to progress. So we're here kind of looking for it. Um, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing a hammer. We've got some flares. He said it was in one of the cabins. Um, it also appears that when you save your game and uh, log out and log back in, it appears that a lot of the stuff regenerates, like uh, Polaroid photos, flares, stuff like that. So... That's interesting. I mean, it's... I, I don't know if that's intentional or if it's because I'm still playing a, an early development build of the game. Uh, but either way, it's alright. It's pretty cool. Oh, here's a hammer right there. Okay, that's what I need. Um, let's see. What can I drop? Let's see here. Discard mode. I don't need all of that. And... Think, how much weight do I have? I man, I'm I'm pretty encumbered. Um, I can discard those. I think. Maybe. No, not those. Special. Let's get rid of some of these empty bottles. And. Let's get rid of maybe a roll of duct tape. I mean, we can always find more stuff if we need. I think that's probably good. Okay. Let's get the hammer. There we go. So we found ourselves a hammer. Um, and I think we can use that down by the doctor's house. There was that spot where we got to rebuild the bridge. And I think we'll have everything now that we need to do that. I'm thinking it's just a hammer and nails, um, unless there's planks or something somewhere that I don't know about. But let's go ahead and toss it in reverse if I can. I don't. I really don't want to reverse down this hill. Come on now. Driving. Driving is proving to be difficult. There we go. Okay. So anyway guys, I'm gonna head to the doctor's house and I will be back with you in just a little bit. Let's pop out here and head down to the riverfront. Maybe there's something... Is it, like, right here? Oh, there it is. I think that's it right there. Okay, so I was... I must have been farther down the lake then before. Because this definitely looks... This definitely looks like what we were looking for. Okay, cool. So, let's see if we can fix this up. And we've got the hammer, we've got the nails... We should be able to fix that up. There we go. And now I can get over here and see... What have we got in here? Flares? A whole bunch of flares. And... Bottles. Is that it? Did we do all that for... For nothing? No story elements or anything like that? I mean, this is the edge. There's nothing else over here. What did we get? Did we get anything new? Special. We got flares. We got fire starters. We got... The hammer. We got... Usable items. Nothing... I don't know that we actually got anything. Documents. Gil's necklace. Letter to Gil. Hmm. I suppose we should... I suppose we should head back to the, uh... The area where the talisman or whatever is. And see if maybe we can do anything there with the new, with like the necklace that we found and 
some of that kind of stuff. That might be our best bet, because at this point, I'm a little confused as to what I need to do to progress. So I'm going to head back that way, guys, and I'll meet up with you in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. And one thing that I, I didn't think of, we can actually explore past that tree that we found earlier this episode, uh, kind of where we found uh, Gil's body encased in ice. So I found some paw prints over here. And I'm just kind of following them right now, kind of in reverse. I'm not sure if they'll lead me anywhere that I haven't already, you know, discovered, but it's certainly worth a chance. They start here. And then I kind of lose them. Where do they... Where do they go? Let's see. Oh, what's this? This is definitely something. This is definitely something. We've got trees, this kind of teepee looking thing. Is there anything over here that I can... This might be where the thing with Gil led originally. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's anything here that's, you know, noteworthy. I mean, it's a pile of rocks with a big thing over it, so you'd think it would mean something. But, then again, maybe not. I mean, the big teepee thing, you'd think it would serve some purpose, but, and again, I'm not seeing anything at all, so. And over here, we just got a tree that's kind of conspicuous. I do know that I'm gonna have to find shelter pretty soon though, because I'm, I'm gonna freeze to death if I don't. Oh, what's this? Here we've got some down trees. And we've got a building. Have I explored this building? Or is this new? Uh, this does not look familiar. Carl was no burglar. He didn't need to resort to petty techniques such as window breaking to find his way in. A good detective simply looks for keys where gullible souls hide them. Yeah, this is definitely new. Okay, where would I hide a key? Hmm. In a flower pot, maybe? There's a bike here, under the mat, for sure. Yep. For there Christ's we go. Sake, yet another key hidden under a doormat. Nowadays, Carl found his job didn't present him with much of a challenge. All right, here we go. The house smelled like incense, the kind that reminds you of the good Lord of peace. Hmm. So this is new. This is all new. Let's get out our flashlight here. Got some vegetables and stuff like that. Nothing over here. Religion was very influential throughout Quebec many years ago. The Bible. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here. Fire starters. Nothing super useful there. Nothing in the oven. Nothing in there. I think this is the same door, right? Yeah, that's the door from before. Anything in the fridge? We got some... some meat. <laughs> that's about it. Polaroid photos. Nothing super exciting there. Okay. What about this cupboard? Nothing up there either. Okay, can I get out of here? Like, is it possible to shut the, the refrigerator door? Am I stuck? I may be stuck. I think I'm actually gonna have to leave the house and go around because I can't shut the refrigerator door. That's a little silly. That's okay though. 
I'm glad that those footsteps led somewhere. Oh, here we go. Lights. So we've got... Emily's mother must have spent her days washing the filth off her kids' diapers. A children's room? Of some sort. Nothing super useful there. In here we've got the bathroom. Turn on the lights. Who knew that giraffes thrived in the North Pole? The craze for toys was stupefying. Hmm. Okay. What about this room? I don't see a light switch in here. Let's see. Carl wasn't desperate to the point he felt compelled to break into the secrets of some chubby village lady. Okay. There's a closet there. There we go. Let's turn on that light as well. Dreamcatchers originated from Amerindian legends. They were used mm. to trap nightmares. Okay. Carl wasn't desperate to the point he felt compelled to break into the secrets of some chubby village lady. Doesn't seem to be anything in this closet. And... Do we have a light in here at all? Nothing there. Oh, there's something. Surely this Jean-Luc Bedard could lead Carl to Hamilton, a.k.a. Uncle Willie. All right. I have a diary, just like Mom. Unlike her, though, I don't wear a long face when writing, but I do love to write my mind. And about Martin, most of all, I love talking about him. I think he loves me, too. Just like in Romeo and Juliet, people don't like it when I see him. Only because he's a blah. But just like in the story, nothing can stand... Okay, so nothing amazingly exciting there. We've got some drawings over here by kids. Hmm. And it looks to be that's... It looks like that's pretty much it in this room. Not really seeing anything else of interest. Which is disappointing. It seems like we didn't really find much in the whole house that was, you know, useful. I suppose there's still a couple things we could look and check. No, nothing there. Nothing in this closet. Although, we've got some food. Um... We already checked all the drawers and cupboards. There is here a thing to make magnet and string, but we've already got one of those. We've, that, like, that's already taken care of. Good Paul Six, appearing papal. Okay, we've got the a picture of the Pope. The impression he was about to bestow a miracle. We've got the Pope. We've got a clean couch. Not a whole lot. Let's check out this uh, shed over here. Maybe we'll find something useful over this way. Okay. Is there a light switch? Or anything like that? Here we go. Let's light this up. And let's start going through stuff. Doesn't look like we can get into any of those drawers. Doesn't look like there's anything on these shelves. What about over here? We got bottles. Everything needed to clean up a mess. Well folded sheets. Anything else? There has to be Catholic something. Always strives to keep lowly temptations at bay. There's a key. Obviously, Carl thought someone in this house wasn't doing a good job at upholding the Holy Bible's teachings. Okay. A peculiar key indeed. Too small to fit in a door lock. What sort of miniature object was it meant for? Hmm. 
I wonder if it was meant for that journal that we found in the house. I bet it is. That one that had the key? Let's go take a look. Let's see here. That was in this room, I think. Yeah, there we go. The Bedards had vacated the premises. Carl gathered they would be of no help. Dr. Du Dr. Bupre told me it would start showing soon, that I couldn't keep it hidden forever. Gotta muster courage, he said with his usual condescending tone. Courage to face what's coming. But he doesn't get it at all. For him, I just had some childish affair. He doesn't realize I brought eternal damnation upon myself. September 14th, Marie is very sick, and Jean-Luc plunges into despair. I told him nothing about the evil growing inside me. Oh, you move with A and D. That's a little weird. Uh, where were we? Hmm. Doesn't get it. It's, yeah, the, the movement controls to, to turn pages are a little weird. But either way, it looks like they're giving birth to some sort of, like, devil baby or something. That's a little weird. That's a little weird. I don't know. Did the person who lived here have an affair with the beast? With the, 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 at the, the creature? The nicely protected garden. Hopefully, the Bedards had managed to dig every last potato out before the sudden snowfall. Hmm. Well, we definitely found something. I don't know. I mean, let's see. We came from... We came from, like, over that way, behind the house... And it looks like there's some sort of road here. So I guess we'll just follow that and see where it takes us. Um, I can't really make out what that says, but I think I think it this is the so main road. Cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Yeah, I think this is the main road. Pretty sure. And I'm really really cold, which is not good because oh, maybe I don't know. This this all seems new. I wish I had my truck right now. I'm going to have to find a way find some shelter or something here relatively soon. This I think is all new. Wow, how did I not find this before? Like has this always been here? We definitely need to go inside, though. The Whoa. was freezing right down to the bone. Okay. We need to light the fire. Um. Let's see. I mean, like, I'm getting... I'm, I'm getting, like, cold and bad. It's... It, things are getting bad. Um. Discard. I don't think I need the Polaroids. Um, I can probably get rid of a couple of those. And we can get rid of some matches. I, like, I'm, I'm quickly... I, I, hmm. Let's see. What else can I get rid of? Fire starter. I don't know. Maybe some equipable stuff. Let's see here. Let's get rid of a couple of those stakes. And maybe. Oh, I didn't want to get rid of all my flares. I haven't had to actually use the flares yet, but. No, I need I need to get rid of more stuff so I can pick up that other log. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of um a couple of those and another roll of duct tape 
and a couple of those. There we go. Light the fire. There we go. Now we're good. I need the gun. Either way... Carl deduced that the poor woman imprisoned in the ice was the wife of Gilles Lachance. Could cold alone do this? I don't know, but I really want my flare gun right now. Like, that's unsettling. That's just weird. Something was hidden under the stairs. The general store, along with several more infrastructures in the area, had been acquired by wealthy industrialist William J. Hamilton. Perhaps the village should be rechristened Hamiltown. The man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. Okay. Can I pull out my flashlight? Does it do anything? It does. Did he like go outside or? Like I have no idea. Oh, you can see the wolf running around out there. We'll have to come back in here and check the stairs. On, like underneath the stairs in a little bit. We'll have to check that. What's out here? This is a mirror, a magnifying glass, some other random stuff. I don't know what I'm looking for. Like, I can see the wolf. But there's no window. What am I supposed to be doing? It's like I'm trapped in the house. And she's in the way. Can I see out there? I can see a wolf. Fading. What did you do, Carl? Oh, here we go. Hmm. So he grabbed his rifle, and then did he maybe come into the bathroom or something? What happened? And I can't go outside. Oh. Perhaps their spousal relationship had been cooling down lately. Okay. So they got in an argument. Oh, no. Didn't want to turn that off. It and then... Like secrecy was commonplace in this house. Oh, there's something hiding down here as well. What's this? The veil was lifted, and he was back to reality. A reality in which Giselle, Jill's loving spouse, was motionless, frozen hmm. in ice. So... Mother once told me when I first met Gilla, uh, Gills that I hadn't picked the brightest bulb of the lot, and as the years fly by, I'm seeing the truth of her words. That blackmailing scheme is a prime example of his brightness. He's like a small dog. He thinks he can blackmail Hamilton. So, he, so Gill was trying to blackmail Hamilton. That's definitely interesting. Let's see if we can check... Let's see if we can check under the stairs, because we knew, we know there was something here. Can I get it if I crouch? 
I don't know if it's a weight thing. Um. What a mess. Clearly, there was some major revamping work underway here. The place looked barely habitable. Okay. So they're doing renovations. There's random stuff everywhere. I can't open this chest. At least as far as I can tell. So whatever I'm looking for, I think, is the thing that's under the stairs. And I have a feeling that the reason I can't open is because I'm carrying too much stuff. So let's see here. Um, discard some matches and a couple of flares and maybe an empty bottle. Filled gas can. That thing's holding a lot of weight, but I have a feeling I'm going to need it for something or other. Because I haven't used it for anything yet. Let's see what's in here. Carl had seen that kind of safe. Oh, mode. that's With interesting. Double layered security system blending letters and numbers. Its code couldn't be broken by the common burglar. Hmm. So not something that I'll oh, be able. Moving. What a pleasant activity. Of course, you'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later in some random box. So I'm not. I, so I need to find the code somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Not there. It felt like old people were all these walls could see for years. The so somewhere. Could hardly be blamed for wanting to freshen things up a bit. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. Hmm. So somewhere... A nice white coating would restore the room to its charm of olden days. Somewhere I think I'm going to find a, a code of some sort, but I don't know where it is or what it is. A nice white coating would restore the room to its charm of olden days. Hmm. Where would I hide a code to the safe if I were to have lost it? No. No. I don't know. Looks like the holes in that puzzle are there to stay. Okay. And this we already checked. Let's check the the bathroom drawers and paint dissolvent, bathroom accessories, all sorts of random stuff. Hmm. The pot was cold. Well, and the stew inside wasn't cooked. It's likely that poor Giselle was slow cooking it before she got snapped. What a waste. So there's got to be what I'm looking for has to be in this safe somehow, but I'm not sure. It felt what like old code. Where all these walls could see for years. I'm not sure what all I'm looking for for a code. Be blamed for wanting to freshen things up a bit. And I don't see. I don't see any sort of a, do a door code around here either. I mean, I'll peek around the back of the house and see if maybe there's something hiding somewhere. But I'm certainly not seeing anything. Either way, guys, I think I am pretty much out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.